Hello and welcome back to MC Chat. In this episode, we'll look at methods that you can use to streamline cloud page development. If you've worked with cloud pages, you'll be aware that testing your pages can be a slow and frustrating process. For a start, any changes that you make to a published page can take up to five minutes to republish, as the route to your published page is cached for performance reasons and won't be updated immediately. And if there's an error in your server-side code, it can be challenging to debug as the page will return a generic 500 error. This is by design. It's actually a security consideration as displaying specific error messages could be maliciously exploited. And while you can wrap server-side JavaScript try-catch statements around your code to handle and display these errors, it can still be a slow process to isolate the offending code. To speed up the publishing process when building cloud pages, you may want to consider saving your code to a file with a publicly accessible URL and adding some inline AMP script code on the cloud page so your file is interpreted when the page is loaded. For this example, I'll use Dropbox, as this file hosting service provides a free and convenient method to save a file locally with a publicly accessible URL. However, you can use any file hosting solution or version control system, for example, GitHub Pages. The only requirement is that the URL to your file needs to be publicly accessible. Once you've saved your file locally, select Copy Link for the recently saved file from the Dropbox menu. Then add the following AMP script code to your cloud page. Firstly, we use the treat as content AMP script function to force any AMP script code or personalization strings in your file to be evaluated on the page. Next, we use the AMP script HTTP get function as a nested function to retrieve your file. Note that for Dropbox, you'll need to change www to dl to ensure that the raw file is downloaded rather than a preview version. Now, publish your page. You can now make changes to your local file and refresh the page to see your changes instantly applied on the cloud page. Note that this development process should only be used during the development phase and should not be used for production. Once you've completed your testing and development, you should replace the inline AMP script code with a final version of your code. This tip will save you a considerable amount of time when developing cloud pages. Well, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tips in working with Salesforce Marketing Cloud. See you next time.